Good morning, good morning, everybody. I am here. Y'all, it is 7.01 in the morning. Today is July 29th. I'm up. In fact, I haven't even been asleep yet, but I'm up, y'all. Coming to talk to y'all this morning. Yes, as you can see, I am in all my natural glory here. And it's all good because this is the best. All right. So to all you people, ladies and males as well, if you're not embracing your natural, it's the best shit in the world. It's the best shit going. Okay. So yeah, this is the way I'm coming today. My hair is in a little pineapple or whatever. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm coming to talk to y'all this morning. Um, before I get started, yeah, before I definitely before I get started, I want to tell everybody that every day can be a good day if you start the day off right. So I want you to start your day off right saying that today will be a blessed day. Today I will have a wonderful day. And that's the energy we're gonna have going forward. And watch what happens. Keep that energy every day and watch what happens. See what happens. So with that being said, um, I'm going to go ahead and light my incense. Y'all know I love my incense. So I'm going to light my incense. So I lit a blue now. No, I actually lit a lush. So I'm going to light a blue now. Today. Go ahead and get that aroma going in this room of mine. Y'all, I'm on my laptop today. And like I mentioned in the last video, the laptop can be grainy. So, and then I'm by the window. So I can at least give you all a little bit more light to actually be able to see me, you know. Um, but after a while, you know, that won't even be an issue. Actually, it's not an issue now. Um, it's just that. You know, every laptop does not have, like, the best quality. But I do love HP um, laptops. And this is the HP laptop. It's not an old laptop as well. But it is what it is, you know. Um, when you're dealing with laptops, you'll get, like, it's kind of like of a win-miss kind of thing. Because you'll have the laptop that has, like, all the good editing qualities and then you got the laptop that's like bullshit when it comes to editing just like this picture resolution is not great but you can see me this is how I actually look you know my color is right and everything so I'm fine with that you know as long as you guys can see me you guys can hear me well it's all that really matters and then we'll um take those next steps up so until then <laughs> people my lovely we rocking with this laptop right here and then we're gonna rock with the phone boo boo however it go however it come out as long as i get my message out message out to you then that's all that really matter but let me go ahead and light my incense you can barely see it because of there it go because of it's so bright in here might have to light it a little bit, but now it's smoking pretty good. Oh my god, y'all! This blue now, incense by Blunt Life. Like, I ain't even sponsored in nothing. Like, but these are freaking amazing. And I tell you, the scent is good, it's not overpowering. It's not like you know how you can light an incense and it's so strong. That like your eyes be watering and stuff. It's not a pleasant scent. It's just like really strong. These are not like that. These are not like that. Yeah, this one's smoking real good. All right, we ready, y'all. <laughs> Let's get this vibe, baby. Let's get this vibe. Let's get this vibe. Let's get this vibe. Hey, <laughs> get that vibe, baby. Yep. But anyway. Today, I wanted to um, talk to you guys about 
like I said, um, I'm a YouTube watcher. Um, I've been watching YouTube for many years, like a lot of people. Um, they watch YouTube. They watch like a lot of different types of uh, videos on YouTube. Me and specifically, I do like certain type of videos on YouTube. But the most common type of videos that you uh, probably will see people watching, and I'm well, it's just amongst the most common videos are the videos that um like um uh, vlogs, you know, just people with their everyday life and stuff like that. And that is what I want to speak on today. And I would not be speaking on these videos and stuff like the average person does. Um, I would be speaking about these videos. Um, how can I put this? How I feel when I see these type of videos being made. And um, I know people... People are so um, critical on YouTube. They always want to voice their opinion about stuff. You know what I'm saying? And you do have that right. You can do that. You know what I'm saying? But people always want to voice their opinion about people and how they do their videos. I'm not going to say that I agree with the way people do their videos. But at the same time, this is the way they choose to do their video. So it ain't nothing you can do about it. All you can do is talk smack about the way they made their video, what they got in their video, what they doing in their video. You can just talk about it. But at the end of the day, guess what? You can't even do nothing about it. People heard you. What's your opinion? You know what I'm saying? However that made you feel, you know, cool. But at the end of the day, what does it do? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes... I can say that I have seen people make comments to um, people's videos and with people saying the same thing like over and over and over and over and over again, I have seen YouTubers actually change the way they do things. Does it stick a very small percentage of the time? <laughs> And then they're like going back to what they do. Me as a person, as a YouTuber, I have this thing where I say do what you want to do on YouTube. I'm not against that at all. Do what you want to do on YouTube. This is the platform. That, this is like you take advantage of the platform. However you want to approach this platform, you do that. You know what I'm saying? Rick, everybody's not going to like your content. Everybody's not going to like what you're about. Everybody ain't going to be rocking with you. That's just plain and simple. Like, hey, everybody ain't going to rock with you. Everybody ain't going to be liked. I don't care if you're a likable person. Um, You know what I'm saying? People will always have a reason as to why they said this, they don't like this, or, you know what I'm saying? And that's not always the case that people will not like your videos because you got people that will genuinely like your videos. You know what I'm saying? And give you good criticism and good comments, you know what I'm saying, on what you're doing. So, my topic today, that was a little bit of introduction. But, <laughs> but my topic today, I want to talk about reactors. And I have cut it down to three different types of reactors. Um, The first reactor type of reactor that I want to talk about um is a reactor that keeps it real um uh, while being respectful and giving good advice now that type of reactor i can get down with you know what i'm saying because i am that type of reactor so that that reactor is number one on the list i do know reactors that i am subscribed to and i do watch that actually does this how many of them i'm subscribed to one and it's sad because out of all the reactors that i've ever seen and in spe specific you know most reactors they react to like the same people you know what i'm saying maybe the maybe that one person or maybe the 
the three, four, five people that the whole YouTube is reacting about anyway. You know what I'm saying? So they're reacting about these same people, but they're just saying the same stuff, but in different ways. Now, let me put this instant out. I got what I needed. <laughs> got what I needed. Let me put you out, boo boo. Say something for later. But yeah, um, so those type of reactors I do respect because at the end of the day, even though YouTubers may not put out the best type of content, they might not have the best views about things, you know what I'm saying? They might not do, um, have content that can help everybody or satisfies everybody. But at the end of the day, those YouTubers are people. You know what I'm saying? They are human just like we are. So, I feel that, you know what I'm saying? Unless it's just not in you. You know what I'm saying? Um, to be respectful, you know what I'm saying, to other people. You know, be mindful of, you know, people's feelings or whatever. Um, when you're reacting to these videos and... Um, if you're not a person that, you know, can give good advice, everybody can give advice, but everybody is may not give the best advice. You know what I'm saying? You can only do what you can do. You can only do the best you can do when it comes down to stuff like that. But at the end of the day, you do know how to be respectful because if it was you, if you put yourself in their shoes and you were reacting um, ignorantly, <laughs> I just made a word, but that's what I want to say. That's in my mind. You know, if you're doing that, you're being disrespectful, then you're going to feel some type of way if somebody was doing that to you. You know what I'm saying? You'll feel some type of way. That's all I'm saying. But number one on my reactors list, and, and then again, I mean, we're talking about three, my three different type of reactors. That, that keep it real reactor that's going to keep it real with you first. You know what I'm saying? And then she's going to tell you, she's going to tell you, he or she going to tell you about yourself. You know what I'm saying? And then they're going to be respectful while they're doing it. And then, you know, just to help you along for the next time, things that you can um, correct or you can change. If you feel to do so, they're going to give you some good advice to top it off. You know what I'm saying? What else can you ask for? I would really be grateful to something like that. You know what I'm saying? And then I could take into consideration what they said. If I feel like I need to change something, if I feel like I'm okay with what I got, what I'm putting out, then we're going to keep it just like that. Just nicely say thank you for the advice. Appreciate you. And then you keep on. Now, on to the second type of reactor that I want to talk about. And keep in mind that I'm talking about these type of reactors because I have seen all three of these type of reactors. So, okay, on with the second type of reactor. You got the mean reactors. I mean, you knew it was coming. <laughs> Let's just be real. You got the mean reactors. Um... They don't have no good intentions towards the YouTuber, you know, that they are addressing. You know what I'm saying? They don't have any good intentions towards them. And if you're not topping it off with good advice, like, what was your point of even reacting to the YouTuber's video? Like, you didn't, at the end of the day, you just talked about them. You know what I'm saying? You didn't add anything in there that could help their situation or something that they could do to better the situation. And also, nine times out of ten, you talked about them so bad, you know what I'm saying, that I don't know. It's like, why do reactors react in that way? Do they do that to make themselves, you know, make them feel better about themselves? Because a lot of the mean reactors, as I'm talking about, they belittle the YouTubers. I see it all the time. Like, why would you get on here to say something you don't have nothing good to say? That I still don't understand. Maybe I never will understand because I don't do those type of things. Now, I'm not judging anyone. I'm just 
I just want to, you know, I just want to know this is the type of stuff that go on in my head when I see reactors react to YouTubers, you know, that type of stuff go on in my head. And I'm wondering, like, what's your point? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's your point? At the end of the day, you talked about this person like a dog. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you're going to continue to watch this person just to talk about them like a dog and analyze those people's videos and pick and you know pick out things just so you can talk about them like what did you do to help them waste of breath i i mean if you ask me because you didn't do anything to help them like i don't know that's why i said i mean if they talk about these youtubers belittle them make them feel bad about you know the content that they're putting out their actions the only thing I could see that the me reactor got out of doing this was making them feel better about themselves and views, subscriptions, you know. Anyway, that I don't get, I can't get down with those type of, um, those type of, um, reactors. I don't get down with that. This is not in my spirit. This is not who I am. Now, I mean... I'm going to speak my mind. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's going to stop me from speaking my mind. You're going to get talked about. People are going to say stuff about you, period. I don't care if you is like a saint. You know what I'm saying? The most innocent person in the world. The most beautiful, kind-hearted, giving. You know what I'm saying? People are going to talk about you regardless. They're going to find something to say. And, you know, at the end of the day, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. I don't care. Because people say what they want to say, just like I say what I want to say. All I'm thinking about that is I'm going to be real. I'm going to be logical. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be fair. And I'm going to be honest. Like, I mean, if you don't come with none of that, then what's the point of you even talking? Like, save your breath. Don't talk. If you're not going to be that in any of those ways that I just stated. Like, if you're not bringing that, you might as well not bring it all. Nobody want to hear it. Except for the people that's just like you, then those people want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? And and I feel like the only time that people get upset too, if you speak the truth and speak in the way I'm speaking right now, only way a person could be upset with you about that is that you're telling the truth on them. And most of the time, guess what? The truth does hurt because people don't want to hear the truth. But that's what I got. You know what I'm saying? That's what I got over here. You don't want to hear the truth. Goodbye. <laughs> Keep it moving. Goodbye. And I mean it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Life's too short. Life's too short, man. It's a million and one things you can be doing to better yourself. To, um, you know, just your own state of mind. Like, your own peace. You know, how about helping somebody else? How about helping somebody else do that? That's something that's fulfilling. Help somebody else. You know what I'm saying? We all human. We all make mistakes. Ain't not a one person on this earth is perfect. Nobody. Not even the mean reactors. Not even the keep it real reactors. Nobody is perfect. So I don't, you, I don't understand why you're on here and you're treating people like shit when you're not perfect. I guarantee you, you're not perfect. You're not. If you're thinking you are, if you're saying you are, and if you're disagreeing with me right now, you have a problem. You do. And I'm here to tell you that you are not perfect. Sorry. Now, to move on to the third and final reactors are... The reactors that I like to call indecisive reactors. And what I mean about that is indecisive reactors are reactors that don't know if they want to be on the YouTuber's side or they want to talk about them. So I'll give you an example. It'll be the YouTubers that it's one minute on no it'll be the reactors that's 
one minute on the YouTubers uh, page, they're saying, oh, I love this video, you know what I'm saying, you doing so well, then boom, you know what I'm saying, when they watch another video or another video come along and then you see something that you don't like and guess what? You hate that YouTuber again. Like, <laughs> I'm not underst I'm not getting that. <laughs> you either love or you hate the YouTuber. There's no in between. <laughs> you gotta choose. You gotta choose. It can't be no in between. It ain't no wishy washy. You know what I'm saying? You either love the YouTuber or you don't. And I do see that. That's the type of stuff that I see. Everything I'm speaking on today. It's just things that I have observed, you know what I'm saying? I have seen with my own eyes, you know, that people do, you know, they'll be lifting them up one day on there and then the next time, you know what I'm saying, they doing something that you don't like, guess what, you you enraged, you know what I'm saying? You full-fledged hate this YouTuber all over again to only love that YouTuber maybe a couple of days later. If they do their content to your liking. You know what I'm saying? If they, <clears throat> excuse me, if they perform actions that are suiting to what is right to you or the way you would have done things. Man, look. You can't do both. I'm going to tell you right now, you can't do both. You can't do both. So you're going to have to figure out, are you with the YouTuber or are you against the YouTuber? My advice to the in, indecisive um, reactor, if you feel like that, stop watching that YouTuber. Don't watch them. Don't watch them. Don't support them or anything because... I just feel like you being fake and phony. Ain't no feel like it ain't it. That's what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You're being fake. It's, it's, you, you can't do both. It's, you either, you with them or you against them. And you got to choose. Or, I mean, you got your own free will. You don't have to choose. You can continue doing that. But I'm here to tell you right now that you're being fake. So, maybe you have just found out something about yourself today. You know, you being fake. It's not a good look. So, if you don't feel like that suits you, I would change real quick. <laughs> like, I would change real quick. So, that is my thoughts on YouTube reactors. Um, what I will say is that, um, it makes me feel sad a little bit because people would do anything to be paid, you know, and that's with YouTubers, you know, even though the reactors are YouTubers as well, but I like to set reactors aside from youtubers you know what i'm saying if you are youtubers no disrespect i mean no disrespect by this i'm let's be clear i need me no disrespect by this but when i think of youtubers i think of people that vlog and do it because this is something they really like to do one um youtuber um that i'm subscribed to she made a comment and said that she only does YouTube because to her it's like a diary of her life. She wants to make a diary of her life. And I thought that makes so much sense. You know what I'm saying? Like this is what you're using YouTube for. And like I said, she's using YouTube for a good reason. Even though YouTube is a flat plat. Oh, I can't talk right now. What's up? Somebody don't want me to say something. They don't want me to tell the truth. Okay, <laughs> but even though YouTube is a platform for making money, you know what I'm saying, if this is what you want to do, 
she simply said that um she just want to make a diary of her life you know what i'm saying and i was like that's what's up <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's what's up like you don't hear i i have heard many youtubers say that but her content proves that she wants to make a diary of her life because i have not once seen her beg at all or have a sad sob story you know what i'm saying to get people to send her money or send her gifts or buy things for her and i'm sold on that type of stuff like when you say stuff and then there's evidence to go with it then i'm sold on it but then when i see other reactors not reactors react to y'all in my mind because it's about y'all <laughs> but um and i see other youtubers saying that um they're not doing this for this specific reason you know and they're only using this platform to take care of their families and make money which is nothing wrong with that but at the same time when i see you saying that and then you're not outwardly asking um your subscribers for things but you're beating around the bush so you can get your point across without actually saying that doing this right here it's my hand y'all without doing that and i totally get you know what i'm saying what she's saying like why why do you have to do that why is it necessary? And then I feel the same way about the reactors, the mean reactors, as I, I have said, um, that get on there and talk about people for likes, views, and subscriptions, and to make money. So I don't understand, like, if you had the opportunity to just drop a few words to help somebody why wouldn't you do that but instead drop a whole bunch of mean stuff that did not in no way shape or form lift this person up or even encourage them to say hey maybe i need to straighten up you know what i'm saying and stop doing what i'm doing and do things right because just as well as the mean reactors are doing this to the youtubers guess what mean reactors you have reactors as well you do you have reactors as well so how does it make you feel when people are reacting to it to your mean ways you know what i'm saying to your behavior and the words your choice of words towards these people like you know how does that make you feel and i know it don't make you feel good if people can always say that i don't care what nobody say about me you can say whatever you want to say about me but at the end of the day guess what if they turn the truth on you you gonna at the end of the day i'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen at the end of the day at the end of the day you gonna go home you're gonna sit down and you're gonna think about it and be like man this person told the truth on me this person see through me and it's not good so I mean, just as well as the mean reactors are saying stuff about these people, things are being said about you. Things can be said about you too. And guess what? Just like you feel like you're telling the truth on the YouTuber that you're talking about, these people could be telling the truth on you too. But then you clap back. You know what I'm saying? Because you feel some type of way. You in your feelings, but that person told the truth or feel like they told the truth just as much as you felt like you told the truth in your mean way to the YouTuber. But at the end of the day, we all have our own opinions. We can voice our opinions. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's stopping us from that. You can voice your opinions. That don't mean you right, though. That's the difference. It's the difference between voicing your opinion and telling the truth and being honest. You know what I'm saying? Then voicing your opinion and just like, being ugly like you could have kept it if, if you it wasn't gonna be useful 
But anyway, man, I it's y'all, I'm gonna get off of here. I have spoken today, and I hope that I have spoken enough to encourage somebody to change somebody's thoughts on what they're doing. You know, and it's not, you know, it's really for you. You know what I'm saying? It's not for me, it's for you. So I feel like if I, I can help somebody, like I said, you know, I've been through a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? And I'll get a chance with all this this time and, and, and videos that I can put out, I'll get a chance to let you in my world. But like I said, I won't tell you everything because you two would not know my life. You know what I'm saying? That's not the point of it. You two would not know everything about me. But I'll give you enough to share in the experience with you to let you know that whatever you're going through, you didn't go through that alone. Like somebody else in the world went through that exact same thing. Or they went through that with some on top. You know what I'm saying? And then some more on top. Like people didn't been through way worse things than you have. And it's okay to accept the things that you have been through and move on because I'm a person like me is here. You know what I'm saying? To show you that somebody identifies with what you you have gone through or what you are currently going through. There is no way people should be giving up on themselves in this world. I don't care if you don't feel like you don't have nobody. You always got somebody. But first, you need to start with yourself. Love on yourself. If you don't love on yourself, who else? I mean, who do you expect to truly and genuinely love you if they see that you don't love yourself? Like, it's the energy that you put out. You know what I'm saying? Be able to look at yourself and be like, man, I'm awesome. You know what I'm saying? Because you are. You awesome. You might not be, not be like the next person. You might not have everything that the next person have that you think is way cool. You know what I'm saying? Or who you think is the shit. You know what I'm saying? You might not. Everybody don't possess the same things. And for that reason, that's why you are so unique. Because you're not like the next person. That's what makes you unique. Sure, there'll be other people that will... You know, have I think everybody is beautiful in their own way. I do. You know, and you might not have the same gifts as others, but don't let that stop you. Find what your gifts are and mold it. Embrace it. And be that. That's the thing. When you find what your gifts are, when you find who you are, be that. Don't be nobody else. You know what I'm saying? You can love people for who they are and their personality, the things that you like about them, but be you. Don't do them. Don't do them. Be original. It's so important. Be original because when people remember you, they're going to remember you for who you were. And if you wasn't original, guess what? They, was, they would, would remember you for being somebody else. And the person, character... And actions that you copied off, it won't be you. They'll be remembering that person, not you. So, take into consideration the things that I shared with you today. Guys, man, I love y'all. You hear me? If nobody on there will tell y'all they love you, you'll hear a soul say, I love you. Miss Tam, love y'all. I sure do. <laughs> I sure do. I'm going to get off of here and um, get ready to lay it down for a little bit. Like I said, I ain't even been asleep, y'all, because I was going to make sure that bright and early I got up to brighten all of y'all day, man. I love y'all. I really do. And you know I'll be back. Y'all have a beautiful one. Mm -hmm.